Hello Taurus, how are you guys doing? This is your love reading from the 29th of July until the 4th of August. Wow, August, we are there. Let me do what I always do in this channel, in this channel, on this channel, which is called In Your Spirit Guides. Spirit Guides for Taurus, please come in and guide this reading, please. Um, with regards to Taurus's love life, let's make sure these herbs burn. Here we go. Um, are they burning? Yes, they are very slowly let's make sure that chakra block is hot we're in the middle of winter so sometimes that chakra block is cold so quickly and it's not fun august we're heading for spring i don't know if you guys are heading for autumn where you are but if you are i don't know shame i don't like winter but taurus let's get into your reading we're going to be um doing a general reading a love reading and um, if this is your reading you will know from the very beginning i'm getting a card out that represents you and your person's energy okay um we're going to be looking into more in depth into your guys and we're going to be looking at the joint energy of the relationship and we're going to get your spirit guide message out at the end of the reading they're going to give us some advice with, with regards to what to do you know and um, if it is your reading you will know and um, because it is general sometimes it's not every single week you can also swap energies if you feel like it's more the other way around um what else there is an extender to the reading as well where we're going to be looking at long term outcome here with regards i think like till basically the end of the year we'll be seeing like what is sort of going to be unfolding if you want to check that out there is a link in the description box below that'll take you there all right so let's get started spirit guides for taurus please come in and um show us taurus's energy and taurus's person's energy please let's see so this is how you guys are vibing right now what you're feeling um, let's see what's going on with you. For some reason, there you go. And then I thought I'm going to go on and on. Okay, let's have a look and see. You, you got a Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Oh boy. Let's see what's going on with them. They got Temperance. Okay, when I saw that Knight of Swords, that's why I said, oh boy. <laughs> um, I felt like um, you may have had a fight with somebody. You may have had a fight with this person. I'm just saying, because the thing is, me, <laughs> um, that knight looks angry a little bit. So you may be a little bit angry with somebody. They may have done something that you did not like at all. That knight, it, looked like, it looks like they're attacking this person on the side of the table. They got their sword up. If you look, they've like literally got their sword up. It's very quick moving. I feel like this is... The words that were spoken are quite sharp and you're cutting, you know. Um, this is moving towards this person. That's quite interesting. Somebody, uh, I feel like they made you, made you mad or angry or they did something and you just like had to attack them and uh, you were angry. That's what I feel like. I feel like you were angry at someone. They got the temperance. So what is going on with the temperance is a major arcana. Whatever they did, it was a really big mistake for them. With the temperance card being there, I feel like they're trying to, I don't feel like this is a breakup, but it could head that way. Because right now there is anger involved here. There may still be communication, but it's not going the way that it used to be. It's almost like um, it's hard to communicate with each other right now with that temperance being there. So they're taking it very, very slowly. They're trying to, um, maybe repair situation with you. Um, I don't know how it's going though. Um, with that Knight of Swords being there in your energy. With this, it's almost like I feel like they're tiptoeing around you. Being very, very, very careful. Because they are maybe very much aware that they are on very thin ice. Okay. If they haven't already fallen through the ice sheet. You know, and that's not good you know what i mean um i even think the up with that knight of swords could have just maybe cracked the ice under their feet and let them fall through um because that's and that feels like a bit of anger there to me i feel like you're mad with them so let's have a look and see um your energy please let's get two cards out please spirit guides with what's going on here what is going on let's see there's two cards for you and we're going to get two cards out for your person uh -huh. we got one i wonder what they did i'm just sitting here wondering what's well, going to come out when i turn these cards so let's have a look first of all for you oh boy yeah okay first of all i'm going to tell you one thing with the six of cups coming out there this is a person that you may have been with for quite some time 
Um, this is not like you met them, you got history with this person. So you are remembering something. Okay, that is also really, I'm going to tell you one thing that they just told me. The Ace of Cups, it feels like um, they did that. It feels like you've lost, this love has got broken for some reason. Something broke here. Okay, for some of you, when I was right there, they were just saying that um, this thing that made you angry, because you guys might be together for quite some time. You, it's not something that they did now. This thing that has made you angry, this thing, I think you found out something that they did maybe a year ago or they did maybe eight months ago or even longer back than that. You might have found, an, found out something and you just said, what were you doing in December 2019? What? You were doing what with who and where? Oh my goodness. And that's the energy. And that is why that Ace of Cups just got into the reverse position like that. And anger came out. It was like when I was by my mom, you were doing what with who? And that's the kind of energy coming up here. So let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Look at that. You remember I told you on this side, this is their energy now. I felt like um, they uh, were tiptoeing around you. They were trying to be very, very careful as to not... Um, uh, yeah, literally be attacked by the knight of swords on that side there but um, I still feel it they, they worried that this might end up in a breakup you know so they've been very very careful they've been careful not to uh, in this or they trying to maybe try to repair this as well because they've got the page of cups coming up there so they're being very careful not to make things worse than what it already is and they may be coming in with that page of cups with an apology towards you so you may be mad with them and they're trying to apologize for something that they did um, they are defending themselves. Look at this. Look at that. These are words that are getting spoken. Look how many people are involved in that card. Oh my God, I just hope that's not so. Um, but there are words that are getting spoken here. Um, and they're defending themselves. You can see some, they've got like these planks, you know, when you defend yourself. And they're trying to defend themselves. They're trying to, um, there may be back and forth the discussions here. Uh, because you got the sword there, I almost feel like you just want to cut them. But they got the wands energy, so it's not a sword; it's like a piece of wood. And um, they try; it's like they're trying to calm it down. They're trying to calm down what is happening here. Wow. Okay, so let's have a look and actually see, spirit guides, what on earth is going on here with this connection. Now we're going to be looking at the um, the actual relationship. Look, a tower has just popped up. A tower this might lead to a breakup holy moly guys because that tower is in the upright position it's not something that has already happened this is what they are trying to prevent that they were those two cards there and this five no they're trying to prevent this this situation from heading to a breakup totally they don't want to break up with you they're trying to fix it oh my goodness gracious Taurus and you guys oof, when you guys get mad you get mad you know what I mean? It's like, you strong energy. The, oh, and look how many cards they've shown us here. So you guys have got extra cards. Let's move them around. Let's see what they're showing us. Yes, they hurt you. They hurt you. Oh, my God. You know what? Whoever this person is, they hurt you. I mean, what do they expect you to, to do? And um, when you find out something that is going to hurt your feelings, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. You are eight of swords holy moly mm. they hurt your feelings no wonder you come in as the knight of swords there you find out something about a person that you've been with and they've been up to no good and they've done something that's going to hurt you emotionally what do, what do they expect you to do they expect you to just say oh it's fine don't worry i forgive you oh hell no <laughs> who's gonna do that Who's going to do that? Nobody. This is the relationship. These two cards indicate the relationship. This relationship is teetering on the brink of breakup. Okay. Um, the tower is there. And then you've got a ten of pentacles as well, which indicates the actual joint energy of this relationship. And that is what I'm looking at here. Um, it's in the reverse position. So there is disruption here in this connection with the tower moment next to it. Oof danger 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 here this can lead to a real breakup 
Then you've got the Eight of Swords over here. They don't want this to happen. Again, they don't want this to happen. Um, they're trying to fix the situation. They're trying to repair uh, this breakup from happening. They don't want you to be angry anymore as well. I almost feel like that's you in the background. I don't know if you can see nicely. There is lighting everywhere. Um, there is like someone sitting in the background holding a sword there, if you can see. And then there's a person walking away. It doesn't matter what energy it is. But I feel like that person with the sword is that knight over there. It's you. And it's like you, you're reading them their rights. It's like you're telling them, okay, you have the right to not do this anymore. You have the right to sit in the corner and suck your thumb and just stay there until I tell you to come out. And they want that to stop. They want this, what that five of wands is and that knight of swords, they want that energy to stop because they don't like being there. I can see from all of this, they just want that to stop. They try very hard to prevent a breakup. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Let's see, spirit guides, what have you got to say for about all of this? Because, woo, here we go. What do you have to say about all of this that is happening here? What advice do you have to give for my Tauruses out there, please? Let's have a look and see what they're going to, like, literally throw across the table. Because they tend to do that sometimes. Okay. They told me all three cards on the bottom. Okay. Taurus, you're getting more cards than everyone else. It's okay. You're special. You deserve it with that Ten of Swords being there. So let's have a look and see. You've got Tens everywhere. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. I'm worried. I'm worried a little bit. Let's see. you got an Eight of Wands energy in the... Oh, it's in the upright position. And you got a Four of Swords energy. Yes, they, they, they don't want this to continue. With the Four of Swords energy being there... They're trying to stop this from happening. That's all I can see. 100%. They are trying to stop this breakup from happening. They don't want it. Um, this is them being in this difficult time. You see the five, of one, the five of Wands, the Eight of Swords here. This is what they've been through. They're trying to make it stop. They want, to, uh, they want, they want everything to come to calm. A place of being calm, a place of being restful. With the Ten of Wands being there, this indicates... Um, Wanting to put down the stresses. So Spirit Guide is saying something here. They're saying, first of all, this person does not want to remain here. Okay. Then this card on this side here, whatever has happened here, they're acknowledging that this has happened very quickly. It's like they say one day, the day before, you didn't have the Ten of Swords. You didn't have the Ace of Cups. Yes, things may not have been perfect. It never is. You know, that we always got stresses in life. No one's life is perfect. No one. And um, But it was okay. You had a relationship. You were okay. And then something happened. And you found out something. And it happened so quickly that you literally went from being okay to the Ten of Swords. And this is speed. That is speed. This is happening very quickly. With the Knight of Swords being in there, it's almost like in a moment. It was just like shock. And when I'm doing this reading, I can even feel the shock that you had. It's almost like right through your shoulders, right down into your, your stomach, your rib cage, everything. It's just like this feeling of adrenaline and anxiety and bubbles of, of fear and crush. I don't know what to say. Just that whole feeling like, oh, you know, like when you're driving your car and you nearly get into an accident and you get that, oh, that feeling. Yeah. Like a fright, a fright, you know, and that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Now, this is very interesting what is coming up here because what they did show me is these three tens. And this ten of swans is sort of under these two cards here, which is the tower and the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, no security now in the relationship. Ten of swords, you being really, really hurt by this person. And the ten of swans in the reverse position. So this tells me... One of two things is going to happen here. Either you will not be able to handle this and you're going to want to just not be near this person and walk away from them and put down these 10 ones of stress that they have given you, which is that over there. Or, I'm going to put it this one as well, um, they will be able to come in and heal this situation with you and try to fix it with you so that it doesn't end up in a breakup situation. It's like uh, 
they're going to try to fix it. It's like you guys are opposing each other. If you look at this side here and then you look at this side here, it's almost like you're opposing each other. I'm coming in very quickly. No, I'm getting up. I'm defending what what is going on here. I'm trying to repair the situation. But no matter what happens, this is energy is not going to stay here. This is a changing energy and it's moving very quickly. This situation that's currently occurring between you and this person, it's going to change one way or the other. Oh boy. Okay, guys. So remember, if you want to check out a long-term situation here with what regards with what's going to happen here, um, you can check in that link in the description box below. And we're going to see like exactly after this kind of thing that has happened now, what's going to happen. We maybe it will be like maybe for the rest of the year. So let's kind of like do it in that way so that we can kind of like see what on earth. My goodness. There we go, Taurus. I'm wishing you all the best here. Sending you light and love. Thank you for watching. Bye.